security and securities and asset management. And I mean, basically they've got their hand in everything. It's one of the biggest companies out, basically out there. Numbers, stock symbol JPM, pretty simple. Current value is 41.77, so it's not overly expensive, like one of the ones we'll see later. Its uh, risk coefficient is 1.09, so it's not that risky. It's pretty, pretty average with the, with the market being closer to one. Um, yield is 0.51. Earnings per share, it's not that high because it's not a very risky company. The uh, beta not being that high isn't gonna allow for drastic changes in earnings for the stockholders. Revenues are, they're huge, one, or 112.2. Billion net income, 5.61 billion. Morningstar, another three star rating. And the earnings over the past year on the stock value, basically on all of them that we'll see, they've got a spike right here. So this one, <laughs> this one, look out for that. This one uh, had several spikes beforehand, due to acquisitions and a little, bit, it's a little bit of stockholders going crazy in the market. And uh, but that main one right above March is a big problem. It's when the market was spiking. So big spike right here. All right, next we got Prudential. Um, as you can see, if you notice from the trend of our our first three, and as you'll see in the next two and a half, three coming up, um, a lot of these are the larger financial companies. Uh, Prudential is very well around. I mean, it's got. A lot of different office array of financial products, and um, you know they'll have things from life insurances, annuities, retirement-related services, huge funds, investment management, and real estate services. I mean, whole gamut there. Um, and they also have these open close business. Switch to the numbers. Uh, the current value forty-five dollars, uh, and some change, maybe twenty-three cents. But the biggest thing that, about Prudential that's going to you know differentiate it from the other ones that we're looking at, it's got the highest beta. Uh, that risk coefficient of 2.65 makes it something where you got to be able to stomach.